Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm all about electronic projects, tool unboxing, tool reviews, things like that. So if you like those kind of things, be sure to subscribe. Today, I'm showing off Scrolly, my scrolling marquee that I made with your standard run-of-the-mill WS2812B LED strips. I cut it into seven lengths of 42 dots across, put them on a piece of poster board, and you should be seeing some pictures of this right now, but it's basically your standard five volt strip. The whole thing runs on a two amp power, or a two amp uh, phone charger, and the whole thing is controlled by an ESP-01. It's a little bitty module that's based on the ESP-8266 microcontroller. I literally only need one GPIO pin from this sucker to drive that whole thing because it's just a 294 uh, LED strip, basically. Um, it's Wi-Fi, of course, so I can program it from my phone from anywhere in the world to make it say whatever the heck I want. I've been working on some graphics and things like that. So you've got the little YouTube logo and the, the like, the little, I don't know if I like the thumbs up, but you know, you know it's a work in progress. Uh, but uh, yeah, what really set it off, by the way, on this project, it needed a diffuser so you didn't see the individual red, green, and blue. Plus these things are super harsh to look at directly. So a little window tint. First, I used the plastic. I don't have any laying around. I meant to have that sitting here. But the uh, diffuser, much like this up here, from an old flat screen TV. Cut it down, put it right on top of the LEDs. That gave me my nice soft little dots. Um, but then it was light colors on white. So, Livo tint. And make sure it's the adhesive kind. Peel and stick. Not the kind where you need to spray soapy water to make it stick. Um, I've got a bunch of more projects in the works. Um, I just finished filming on, on this here yesterday, so I'm going to edit that, get that up there. It's another Knight Rider-ish kind of thing with a few more features, and it's on the front of the truck. Um, I'm also working on a couple of unboxings. Uh, I've got the um, nail gun up here. I've got the router down here that I'm still using on a woodworking project, so that'll be up pretty soon. So far, well, I'm not going to spoil the review of what I think of the tool. Uh, lots more coming. I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. If you like, please hit that thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe down there. Um, meanwhile, here's a couple of previous videos to check out. Okay, click on something because this is getting awkward. <laughs> Please help, help me out. <laughs> 